Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today in this video we'll be looking at how to use SATA transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Let's look at the features and different attributes used to configure SATA transformation. SATA transformation is used to sort data based on specified sorting fields. The default sorting order is ascending but we can also configure the co transformation to do a sorting based on descending order. You can configure more than one sort field. Any more sort fields which has been configured other than the first one is treated for secondary sorting. There are quite a few features available in sorter transformation. You can configure sorting to be done on non-case sensitive mode. There is also a distinct mode available. When enabled, the sorting gets enabled for all the columns or fields in a given data row set coming in the input and this would help us avoid any duplicate data from the incoming pipeline. Sorter transformation also uses sort cache. The minimum required sort cache is 16 MB. User can configure sort cache more than this but it is always recommended to configure a sort cache which is less than the available physical memory. For any reason during the runtime if the required sort cache exceeds whatever has been configured then the data is persisted into a file in a cache directory. User can also configure the cache directory path in sorter transformation. There is an option called as optional mode in sorter transformation when disabling this mode would lead to failure of any task if there is no data row passed through the pipeline where the sort of transformation is available. Let's go ahead and have a look at how to use this sort of transformation using a demo. Browse Informatica Cloud Portal. Log in using your user credentials. Navigate to Design Mapping. Try to click on New Mapping. and provide the appropriate name. You can drag the source transformation to start with. In this demo I am going to use a flat file as a source. Provide a name for the transformation and select appropriate connection. Now let's drag and drop a sort of transformation here. Connect the output of the source transformation to the input of the sort of transformation. Let me provide a name for the transformation. In this case, we had selected a source which has employee data. Hence the incoming fields, if you look at it, has an employee ID, name and region. We are going to sort it with respect to employee ID field. Click on the sub tab sort. Select the field which needs to be used for sorting. I am selecting employee ID and using a default sort order of ascending. Drag and drop a target transformation. Select a connection. In this case, I am going to create a target object rather than selecting one. Join the output of the sorter to the input of the target transformation. Do a save and continue, validate, and do a save and run. Since this is a mapping, we might need to select the runtime environment. If you had configured a mapping configuration task, this would have been taken automatically for a given configured value. Let's go ahead and run. The task has run successfully. 
and has sorted five data rows from the source. Let's look at some of the advanced configuration that we saw as part of the features. Here if you look at it, the sort cache size can be configured but over here we are taking the default or auto sort cache size. The work directory is a temporary directory path which refers to one of the temporary directory cache path in Informatica Cloud installation path. There is also an option of distinct and transformational scope. The default value of the transformational scope is always all input. If you would like to have for a given transaction boundary, then you, can, you may define appropriate scope over here. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the data which got sorted. This is the input data which we used for sorting and let's go ahead and try to open the output data which needs to get sorted with the employee ID. As you could see the data got sorted as per the employee ID and the largest one is at the bottom. With this we come to the end of the demo. Thanks for watching the video. We would like to hear from you. You can email us your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support.